Hello Giants fans, welcome to Giants Baseball 101, I'm Gabe Vaughn, your host. The Giants lost to the A's 2-1 yesterday, Ross Stripling pitched 5 and a third innings, allowing one run, so they seem to be alternating things with Stripling a lot. He, he pitches, he sometimes pitches behind an opener, but you'll also see plenty of times where he pitches his own first inning, and this was one of them. The Giants are just trying out a lot of new things, but Stripling pitched well yesterday, allowing, he, he, he allowed one run through five and a third, and then Sean Manaya came in and pitched through the seventh. The Giants didn't score through seven innings. Their, their bats were just really quiet today, and I, I mean, it, 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 it just, they, they've been having serious offensive issues, but that kind of changed a bit over the past couple of weeks as the Giants started winning some significant sets. Most recently, they took three out of four against the Diamondbacks, but yesterday they, they just, they couldn't hit the ball. But behind one to nothing in the eighth, they tied it on Jock Peterson's sacrifice fly that scored Tyro Estrada, who just returned from the injured list. So it was one to one going into the bottom of the eighth, but the A's winning run scored against Ryan Walker, and the Giants couldn't come back in the top of the ninth. So, really, it, it was just a really cold day for the Bats, and it goes without saying that the A's are not a team that you want to lose to, and I, I just thought that this was another really good opportunity for the Giants to take two games, but it didn't happen. Still, the Giants do have a very comfortable record. I, I, I think it's something like, 61 wins, I think. It's it, it's a very comfortable winning record, and they, they have, they're well above 500, and that is the good news, that they're, they're, they're probably protected, at least, for a while. And they, they were on a good, they, they, they were on a, a real, good streak prior to this, having won the past two game, well, the two game series against the A's last week, and then they, they took the next two out of three and three out of four games. So even though this, this is definitely not a good looking loss when it, it, it happened against the A's of all teams, it, it definitely I would say that circumstances are not as bad as they could be and that there is a good chance that the Giants could could just get hot again and put this behind them. So it, it is worth noting that they got Tyro Estrada back and he's just likely to be valuable for the Giants. Um, they had lost him when he got hit in the hand with a pitch, and I, I think it got fractured or something, but now Estrada's back for the final two months of the Giants' playoff run, and he's gonna, he, he's hopefully gonna do a lot for the Giants down the stretch. It's, it's just that the ideal infield for them, an infield of Lamont Wade Jr. at first, and Tyro Estrada at second, Marco Luciano at short, and Casey Schmidt at third, that that kind of an infield would look really good if everybody could just play consistently. And sometimes we just don't see that happening. I mean, especially Schmidt. He has kind of fallen into a slump. Um, and, and sometimes Wade Jr.'s more or less consistent as well. And Luciano, he was optioned to the minors a little bit earlier this week. Um, I would expect that we'll see him again soon, but obviously in his case too, he just need to put up consistent numbers. But I, th I think the Giants could put up a really productive infield if everybody can kind of just 
get it together. Thank you for watching. This has been Giants Baseball 101. Please subscribe if you haven't. Also, please leave your questions and comments. You know where to do it. I'll see you next time on Giants Baseball 101.